There's a line in Shakespeare, I don't remember which play, and it says, Nothing is either good or bad, but thinking makes it so. There's a very important lesson here. An essential part of spiritual awakening, or we could call it the awakening of consciousness, is to learn to become aware of the difference between the situation that you find yourself in and what your mind says about the situation that you find yourself in, particularly challenging situations. Many of you at this time are perhaps confined to a small space, perhaps a small apartment, not allowed to go out except to buy groceries or other essentials. Perhaps they have to share that space with several people, or there's nobody else and you're feeling lonely. Or you may be experiencing that uh, Money is becoming scarce because you've been laid off. No more income. Or you're feeling sick. And there's a fever, this cough. Now, all these things that many of you are experiencing now would conventionally normally be called bad and yes i suppose on a conventional level they are not pleasant particularly if you're sick the fundamental difference between what is and what the mind has to say about it. <laughs> and then more and more you're able to experience situations with the power of your presence. You're facing a situation with the power of your presence. It's not your presence, but let's just call it yours. You face it with the power of your presence, which is true intelligence instead of being reactive and complaining about what it ever is you're experiencing. A lot of that un unnecessary mind activity, the narrative, the excess baggage, a lot of that you might have noticed is complaining. <laughs> you can complain about life, about other people around you, about you can complain about and the unfairness of it all, how life has treated you, or whatever it is, you can complain about whatever the politicians and all kinds of the, 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 the infinite things you can complain about. And so a lot of that narrative is, has an element of complaining to it. <laughs> and it's not pleasant. But the, the false sense of self, the ego, the me, it, it loves complaining and, and because then it, it feels it's, it has a stronger sense of identity, a fictitious identity. It, it loves the, to, to make somebody wrong, another person. You can make a whole situation wrong and this should not be happening. It should not be happening. It's a travesty. But it is happening. This should not be happening is the narrative. And that what makes you unhappy in most cases, perhaps all cases, is the narrative in the mind, not the situation. The situation is as it is. And as when you realize that, then more and more are you able to face every situation, which is in the present moment, the only place where any situation can arise, you face it, 
as it is in the now, with the power of your presence. And if action is required, you take action. If nothing can be done, you leave it alone. It is as it is, and you are not unhappy about it anymore. You rise above it, so to speak. You are no longer at the mercy of whatever is happening or not happening around you. Yes, it's nice when nice things happen, and it's not so nice when uh, unpleasant things happen, but that's, it doesn't touch you that deeply because this, you have access already a deeper dimension within yourself. So you're no longer at the mercy of conditions. <laughs> because if, as long as you're at the mercy of conditions, life is very frustrating because conditions that or situations you find yourself in are never satisfying for very long. And a lot of the time they are unsatisfying. A lot of the time they are challenging. Because life is not here to make you happy. The world isn't here to make you happy. It's here to awaken you, to make you conscious. How does it do that? It does that by challenging you. And it's doing it now. So, and as you are able to let go of the unnecessary narrative that makes you unhappy, you can start, then you automatically become present to what is. And then you understand perhaps what Shakespeare meant when he said, nothing is either good or bad, but thinking makes it so. Thanks, I will talk to you again soon. In the meantime, please try it out, practice, and see what happens. Thanks. Mm -hmm.